Srinidhi, 800 years is not a joke. 800 years is a lot. Isn't it really shocking? It is. Alarming. Yeah. The day I learned and realized this, it took me time to come out. Mm -hmm. Let me tell, show you something else. What is this? A plastic toothbrush. And how often do you use your brush? Change your brush. Four or five times a year. Yeah, which means all of us are sending four to five brushes each year into soil. Mm -hmm. Just imagine the damage we are causing to earth. Yeah. Right? But you have a choice mm -hmm. now. You can replace this with a biodegradable brush, which is made of natural wood. Mm -hmm. Our grandparents used to be sustainable. They used to use neem stick or bubble stick or miswak, mm -hmm. which were biodegradable and also healthy. Mm -hmm. But all the modernity, we are causing damage to earth. Mm -hmm. And this is something you can change because n number of brushes because yeah. it's biodegradable. Yeah. Right? So you must switch to wooden, you must switch to wooden, you must switch to wooden. <laughs> I will, I will. It's been an eye opener for me how many biodegradable products we can actually use. So what other sustainable practices are existing and what are you practicing at your home? Okay. In my house as a family we are sustainable tea warriors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we live a frugal lifestyle basically. Simple lifestyle. And uh, Almost, uh, most of the things are organic. In the sense, let me start with, as a woman, what are the common things we use? For example, we have these hard bakes, Lysol and Domex. Lysol and Domex have not entered my home in last few years. Okay. Because uh, it, it very, it's very interesting that most of the organic stuff can be used to, in other ways. Mm -hmm. For example, I use, uh, I make my own multi-purpose organic cleaners mm -hmm. using citrus peels and orange peels. Mm -hmm. Similarly, you can even use other vegetable peels and fruit peels and all that. So this replaces the Domex and uh, Dysol and all. So I can bathroom cleaning, floor cleaning, like Collins spray is replaced by the mm -hmm. bioenzyme. Laptop screens and TV screens, everything is cleaned by this bio. So when you make your own stuff and when you use organic stuff, you feel so connected to earth yeah. because it's organic and you are so satisfied that you are doing something and you are cutting down on chemicals. Mm. So that's a big change. Yeah. Apart from this, since mine is an independent house, uh, with a 500 liter tank we have been managing the water mm. usage in the house uh, even during summers. Mm -hmm. uh, though we have a terrace garden and a ground floor garden through water conservation. Which means in the kitchen, most of the water that is vegetables, rice, everything goes back into the kitchen garden. We don't really water the backyard. Mm. So, water conservation. And of course, power, we are conscious of the power we use. And most of the products, mm. plastic is a no-no. We always carry our uh, cloth bags in the car and in, this, on, in my cycle. Mm. Up to two kilometers or so, I normally cycle or walk. Mm. I do consciously avoid cabs and autos. It's either walking, cycling or public transport. Mm. That's about it. So wherever it is possible, try to cut down on, and we encourage children also not to waste foods, mm -hmm. functions, uh, even at home. Uh, try not to waste wherever it is. Uh, it will be very, uh, you'll be surprised if I tell you that today my daughter has a huge daba full of chocolate wrapper, chips and all that. Mm -hmm. And even in their bags you'll find, in my purse also sometimes you find. Because right from childhood as a value, we have instilled this. Mm -hmm. Because my husband, I, all of us are into it. Yeah. So when when they get a wrapper, it, they just are not ready to throw it outside, so they bring it home. <laughs> so I don't use those garbage bags, we don't use those, we use just normal dustbin with paper mm -hmm. and it goes back. So these are just some, in fact there are yeah. many ways. It's become an addiction now because every time we go, especially plastic bottles, every bottle that comes in it goes to be used mm -hmm. either to store my bioenzymes or in the garden. Yeah. So if you go to our terrace, we have a jade garden, which is my husband's garden. Mm -hmm. So you will find rubber tires, like cooler bases, which do not have any value at the Radhiwala. Mm -hmm. And bathtubs, which are discarded. Everything, see everything that can carry little soil can become a planter. Mm -hmm. And almost everything that is natural can be reused in some way. Mm -hmm. So it's a good feeling actually. So there are many, many ways. I think you can, we can have a separate yeah. talk yeah. on that. Yeah very closely connected to Quran and there's a lot about sustainability in the Quran.